Hello. Not who expected. A dash three. Solving right triangles. Okay. What we're going to do is, if you understood the last section and the opposite and then adjacent and hypotenuse and all that, this one's pretty easy. Okay. All you're doing here is, if you have a couple of the side lengths, you can find out the angle measures. Let's say we want to find out this angle measure. Okay. Uh, do you want to use sine, cosine, or tangent? We'll use sine since this is the first one. So, ka, toa. All right. Sine is opposite over a over hypotenuse. Sorry. This is opposite. This is hypotenuse. All right. Now, we <coughs> do not know the angle measure. I don't know it yet. So I put in x equals opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, now, here's the deal. We can't switch it out because it's connected to that sign, okay? That X is, it's with it. They're together. They're best friends forever. BFF, if you ride a traffic keeper. Okay, now, what you got to do is, you have to do the inverse, okay? That means you take it and you switch it, okay? The way I like to think of it is like a dinosaur, and you like eats this one, but while he eats it, he spits out the other one. <laughs> all right? Oh, all right, that's good. All right? That's good. I like that. All right? So, you do the inverse, which means sine, negative 1, and now we got this. We've, we've eaten this part, 4.8 divided by 6, and we, patooey, spit out that x. We can find that angle measure. Now, you're thinking, Mr. Tarver, that's lovely, wonderful, and great, but I do not know how to do the inverse. Guess what? You're in luck. Remember where we found out the sine button was and the cosine and tangent button was on your calculator? Right there? Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, you found those little guys. All you have to do to do the inverse is hit second and then one of those buttons. If you'll see it in the blue above it, mine's blue, yours might not be. It says sine of negative one. That's inverse sine. All you do is you get second sine. It'll pop up sine negative one parentheses. We do 4.8 divided by six. Enter. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm not going to talk like that again. It's five, three point, and we'll round it at one, three degrees. Awesome, right? I'll do one more. Okay. Uh, let's find this angle right here. Uh, let's do uh, this is opposite now, and now this is our adjacent, correct? So we're going to do, I'm going to use these two, adjacent and opposite. That means I'm using tangent. So tangent of, we'll make this our new x, equals opposite, which is 3.6, over adjacent, which is 4.8. I eat this, spit out that, make it the inverse, 3.6 divided by 4.8. And then we can just type that in our calculator, second tangent. 3.6 divided by 4.8, hit enter, 36 point, looks like 8, 7 for me. Now, if I add that plus that plus that, guess what I'm going to get? 180 degrees. Do you like my song? I sing it to y'all. It's really pretty. Hey, hey, I don't know what rhymes with pretty. And it's a pretty song. And I think... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, right? I mean, is there really anything else you need to look? Good job, Because, I mean, if you don't do the stuff from the last section where you can use the side lengths to find the angle measure, or I'm sorry, if you can use an angle measure and a side length to find the other side length, and you know you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third one, you do this to find the angles. Okay, so you've got all the knowledge you need to know in the whole world. Oh boy, Minnie!